So here we have one of the upgraded Mitsubishi iMEVs from Oz Electric Vehicles. Um, in terms of upgrade, we're talking about the double capacity in terms of battery capacity and, and double the range. We've got the one pedal drive system. We've got the um, hill hold system. And we've also got the cruise control on this particular vehicle. Now, you know, we've talked about some of the upgrades. Now it's time to take it for a bit of a drive and see how it performs. So one of the benefits obviously of increasing the battery size is how responsive the vehicle is. Um, and I know they've done a bit of work with the actual programming. Um, so I've driven the before and the after, and in terms of acceleration, definitely the after is far superior. So um, let's have a bit of a feel. Um, it's on a control environment here. Um, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of acceleration and um, we'll feel the effects um, of, the, of the upgrade. Yeah, right. That is um, very talky. And we know one of the features or the characteristics of electric motors is 100% torque. Um, and I know the programming in this one here optimizes that torque curve. So um, it is absolutely talky off the line. So great improvement. So what we're gonna do now is have a feel of that one pedal drive system, the regenerative braking. So effectively the accelerator, um, we squeeze it and we obviously take off like a traditional car, but as we release the throttle or the accelerator, it's gonna brake on us. So we'll give it a crack and have a feel of the effects. So accelerates away normally, and I'm just gonna take the foot off the throttle. Okay, so there's a, a significant amount of braking just taking my foot off the throttle. Um, you know, it's almost like applying the brakes in, in, in terms of the braking feel. Um, I believe it's proportional as well. So the quicker you take your foot off the throttle, the more braking effect it's gonna have and more regeneration. So that's gonna charge our batteries. Okay, let's give it a crack. All right, accelerate away fairly normally. And now I'm gonna take my foot off the throttle fairly quickly. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, so you can really hear that regen. You can feel that deceleration. Um, it's effectively like applying the brakes, uh, but we're charging the battery. So um, as a driver experience, it's probably something you'll get used to fairly quickly. I've been driving this for a half an hour and I understand how it's behaving. So I don't think as a consumer it'd be an issue. So another clever feature they've built into the, the programming is the ability to go back to the factory settings um, as Mitsubishi had designed it. So the way you do that is via the selector. So you go from the D into the B mode. Um, so what that does, it brings it back to OEM or factory programming, uh, which means that we're not gonna have the one pedal um, set up. So no or very little regeneration. And obviously with the no or little regeneration, we're gonna need to use the factory brakes more. So let's have a feel on, on in, in in, in terms of how that feels in driving. So as we accelerate away, still very similar in, in terms of response. Now as I back off, okay, so that's coasting like a normal vehicle would. And as I apply the brakes, okay, so the Mitsubishi setup, or the OEM programming, it actually behaves very similar to a normal driving vehicle, um, which means that's probably not as much battery regen um, and you know as a consumer uh, you're probably not going to change as many brake pads in when you're in one pedal driving because the regeneration is going to do a lot of the braking for you um, in this factory mode uh, by all means i think they do a little bit of regeneration but very little compared to the upgrade um, that's made possible through the um, Oz, uh, ev um, solutions so one of the features that is built into this new program is hill hold, which effectively means that if you're on an incline or a decline, you can release the brake or the throttle and the vehicle will basically hold and it will, won't roll backwards or forwards. So we'll have a bit of a check here. So there's a little bit of incline in front of me. I'll just um, roll up this little incline and we'll just see what it does as I release the throttle and not apply the brakes. Okay, let's see what it does now. Okay, so that's, yeah, effective. So hill holding, no brake, no accelerator, uh, the vehicle will hold. Um, and let's just see what it does as I accelerate away now. Oh, a little bit of rollback. Okay, so no problems at all. Minimal rollback and away we go again. So that hill hold is really convenient um, in terms of, you know, when you're trying to get up and down a hill and not rolling backwards. 
So one of the features included in the upgrade is the cruise control, which, um, you know, cruise control is nothing new, but what we have with this particular system, it, it actually holds the speed that it's set at. So uh, if you set at 60, it's not gonna creep to 65 or 66, whatever down the hill, which is pretty important. It's happened to me where I've crept, so it really holds the speed quite well. So, well, that's a wrap. Um, we've given the car a, a good test drive. We've um, checked out the features and the functions. Um, of note, um, we've still got more range um, even after driving for an hour, an hour and a half than the car had when it was um, new out of the factory. So big tick in terms of an upgrade. Uh, the one pedal uh, drive, a little bit of getting used to, a few minutes and I was used to that. But the big benefit is obviously the hill hold. Um, it holds on the hills. Um, the regenerative braking means we're getting a bit of juice back into the batteries. Um, and also the cruise control, uh, the fact that it doesn't um, overspeed or underspeed and maintains that what you've set it at is a real benefit. So um, in terms of an upgrade, certainly a, a really uh, worthwhile upgrade um, and certainly breathes life, a new life into this vehicle.